100,000 subscribers. This is so long overdue. I know a lot of y'all probably don't want to hear my little speech, so I'm just going to put a timestamp on screen somewhere for the bedroom and setup tour. But for anyone staying for this intro, I love you. I never really get the chance to talk with y'all, you know, just about life stuff or whatever, but that's the beauty of YouTube. I can use long form videos to do exactly that. It actually blows my mind that I tried making the same exact video when we hit 50,000 subs. But around that time, I was having some stuff sent in the mail that I thought would be cool to include in this. So I wanted to wait for that. And within those few days of shipping, we already hit 70K. Huh? At this point, my mind was just thinking, okay, we're already late. Let's just hold off and do it for 100K. We hit 100K just a few days before Christmas, but now I'm just busy with friends and family for the holidays. And here we are today with 163,000 subscribers. Anyways, the whole point of this intro is to obviously thank you guys. YouTube has been something I've wanted to do literally since the fifth grade. Growth has been insane recently. Obviously, I'm super happy with that because I genuinely do not know what I would do if it wasn't for TikTok or shorts. I was one of those very few kids at my school who didn't apply to a single college. Now, I'm not saying that was the right choice whatsoever, but I knew exactly what I wanted to do and not to sound cheesy or anything. I genuinely believe anything is possible if you put your mind to it. So thank you guys so much for all the support of what I've done so far. Shout out to my fam, aka my number one supporters. Shout out Controller and Rap TV for letting me make content for y'all for almost a full year now. Can't forget about the Gangy Squad. And yeah, sorry for the long intro. I'm not sure how many people this is gonna reach being one of my first long form videos. So if you are one of those people who see this, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the post notifications if you do enjoy this video. I do plan on making more actual videos throughout 2023, so stay tuned for those. Now time for the tour. Ladies and gentlemen, the setup. Literally where I record, play games, and edit on a daily basis. This is my repeat mouse pad, the glorious Model D, and my keyboard made by the one and only Seabass Boards. Looks beautiful. And Seabass himself is giving away a free custom keyboard to one of you guys. And all you gotta do is comment why you want the keyboard. After exactly seven days of this video being uploaded, I'll go through and pick a completely random comment which will be the winner of their custom keyboard. Moving on, the right monitor is what I use to edit. This is the Innocent M2U. 60 hertz, a 4K, and HDR 1000. The left one is Innocent gaming monitor, which is 165 hertz, obviously what I use to play games. Above those is the Elgato Key Light Air. A lot of you guys always ask what headphones I use. These are them, the Logitech G733s. They're not top of the line whatsoever, but they're light, they sound good, they're wireless, and I'm honestly just a big fan of how they look. Moving on, we have the mic that I'm currently using, which is the Shure SM7B along with a cloud lifter and the audio interface. Then of course, we have the PC, which everything is connected to. Inside, we have a 3070 Ti Founders Edition, a Ryzen 9 5600, an NZXT liquid cooler that was just put in. And let me tell you, that cooler solved all my issues. Before I had some stock AMD cooler, everything ran slow and I would literally get pop-ups saying my CPU was overheating. On the left side of the desk, we have some controllers along with a Quest. Behind the monitors are speakers and some Gobi light bars. Here's one of the cameras that I use a lot. This one's the Sony ZV-1 and the camera that I'm using to record this video is the Sony A7C. For the chair, I'm rocking a GT Racer. And finally for the desk, which is also the newest edition. I'm in love with it not only because it's ginormous, but it's also completely height adjustable with the push of a button. And yes, I know my cable management is awful. I just got this cable management so it should look a lot better real soon. But yes, that is the 2023 setup. Now time for the room tour. This is basically the full overview. I'm gonna be honest. I have this 360 camera and never use it. So I'm just satisfied I could include that short clip with it because it's actually really cool. Anyways, above the setup, we got vinyls I've been collecting for as long as I could remember. There's quite a few more I'll show y'all in a bit, but this is just the random assortment that I have displayed right now. And clearly y'all can tell I'm a pretty big Eminem fan. I really started getting into his music when the trailer for Call of Duty Ghost dropped and it featured survival from the MMLP2. And from that point on, I have bumped this man's albums every single day. Under those, we got a walk on water steel print signed by Shady himself. And to the right of that, we got this wall that I recently put together. This one's got a signed NF poster, a Kamikaze poster, and a signed Big Sean poster. We got cassettes, CDs, an 8 Mile Steel book, a signed SSLP 20th anniversary vinyl, a box for Mom Spaghetti along with a bag, an MMLP2 foam finger, and a skate deck and comic book from when Eminem dropped that song with Snoop. I didn't even realize it until it got here, but there was only 125 of these made, which is pretty crazy that I got number 24. Anyways, below all that, we have a bunch of random stuff in this corner, ranging from tripods, camera bags, microphones, and shaker cups. I see tons of comments asking about the RGB mic that's in a lot of my shorts. I try to respond to most of them, but the mic is the HyperX Quadcast S. On the nightstand, I keep this wireless charging, remotes, and some notebooks. I write in these every single day, basically keeping track of analytics, video ideas, scripts, brand deals, and all that kind of stuff. I definitely think it'll be something cool to look back on when I'm like 70 years old. This right here is the spot where I occasionally take your mom, but for real though, I just got this bed not too long ago for an early birthday and Christmas present, and I am in love with it. Before, I was sleeping on a waterbed, and it was just extremely uncomfortable. Absolutely hated it. Got this one on Black Friday, and it came with this base that lets you completely adjust the head and the foot, which is pretty sick. Every single night, I sleep with an MSI laptop by my side, along with the glorious Model O. This thing's an absolute beast with a 144 hertz display, an i9, and a 3060. Definitely nice to have when I'm trying to chill and edit something together. Over on this wall, we have the artwork for the Slim Shady LP, and on this side, we have all these neon signs. I'm thinking of replacing them with nano leaves or something, because I don't really like how all these wires hang down. Plus, some of the signs are just going out. Below those is a curved monitor that's no longer in use. Here's the luxurious gobblegum machine. Once again, shout 
shout out to my boy Bandit 3D Printing for making this top piece. Here's my closet door filled with a countless number of names from an old series I did on TikTok. This is the COD Zombies Museum, but we're going to save that for the end since I think it's the coolest. My TV, which I pretty much only use for YouTube, along with the Alienware Alpha, which I do not recommend to anybody. It's literally this cute little pre-built PC the size of your hand. It is just so terrible performance wise. We got that 2012 refurbished MacBook Pro, probably one of the worst purchases I've ever made on eBay. And under that is the goaded PS4 and Xbox 360. These are two more monitors I occasionally switch in and out of the setup. And finally, we have the llama mask hiding behind a random plank of wood. And before I forget, here's the rest of the vinyls I mentioned earlier. We got all four juice vinyls, all of X's vinyls, get rich or die trying by 50 cent, which is a 10 out of 10, and the rest of Eminem's vinyls that are on display. I do want to line them up along the top of this wall. I think that would look pretty sick. But for right now, they're just chilling under my bed. Now time for the COD Zombies Museum. By far, one of the most asked questions I've seen so far is where did you get those? And I got three main answers, Etsy, eBay, and homemade. But I will say Etsy is probably the best for finding the coolest props. That's where I got the 3D prints for the ray gun, the GKZ, the summoning key, the galvan knuckles, and so on. Two sellers I'd recommend would be Bandit and Tubby's Prop Shop. They're both pretty fire with their craft. To quickly sum up the whole collection, we have a wall buy, a ray gun, a mystery box, a summoning key, some perk cap shadow boxes, the cold war bunny, a ray gun mark three, a perk bottles, a perk cans, a juggernaut mini fridge, a juggernaut beanie, some galvan knuckles, and of course the monkey bomb. Below that table is where I stash my G fuel. Use code is Jonathan Reed at checkout. But yes, that concludes the current setup and bedroom tour. I apologize for how delayed this video got. I really did want to get this out a lot sooner. I plan on making a lot more banger videos in the future. So if you did enjoy this, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the post notifications. And once again, thank you guys so much for 160,000 subscribers. That is a ridiculous number. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for right now. I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Peace out, boys.